Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark, eBay being my main platform, and I sell a variety of things. Uh, today is mainly going to be a shoe and clothing haul because I really didn't find uh, too many hard goods. I think maybe two, two hard goods, three, three. <laughs> um, anyhow, I went to the thrift, my one of my local thrifts in Hellertown, Pennsylvania. Uh, they had a 50% off sale for Martin Luther King Day. It was on a Saturday. I didn't film there. I ended up not filming because we were expecting a snowstorm and my mom was with me and she was kind of nervous about the snow and I just kind of wanted to get in and get out. Um, so that's what I did. So that's why I'm just bringing you the haul today and none of the actual shopping. So anyhow, like I said, it is mostly clothes and shoes, but I will show you the couple hard goods that I did get. Um, funny thing though, real quick, I was thinking about this and although I sell clothes and shoes now, it's not how I started. A lot of people start on eBay with clothing and shoes. I was actually the complete opposite. I started by selling hard goods and I sold strictly hard goods for years. Probably, um, I don't know, I think maybe the last three or four years I started introducing clothing and shoes. And now I'm like a huge fan of shoes, of course. And the clothing, definitely um it's nice i just think it's really i like adding it into the mix of the hard goods because you know on a day when you have you know 30 things to ship and half of them are clothing it makes it go a lot a lot quicker so i just i really like having the mix in my store anyhow let's just get into the haul so the first hard good i got I just thought this guy was really cool. I could not leave him behind. It looks like it looks like it's got mother of pearl and just I don't know, it's like it's like stone. It's a mask. There's no maker's marks. I have no clue of its origin or anything like that, but it was originally $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for it. Try to show it a little closer for you guys. Isn't that cool? If you guys know anything about this, let me know. But I mean, he would just like sit on a stand or whatever. I just, I couldn't pass this thing up. I thought it was really cool looking. All right, I picked up a five pack of VHS tapes. Might throw those in with some, you know, VCRs or whatever when I pick them up. That's what I'm guessing. I ended up paying $2 for the pack. Uh, I'll check and see if these sell okay on their own. I know some do, some don't. Like if you get a whole lot of like the Sony ones, they usually do well. And the last hard good I got, it's kind of buried under these shoes here. Uh, this is Victoria's Secret Perfumed Body Lotion. So this is like a vintage original scent. Uh, pretty sure discontinued. I ended up paying 99 cents for it. Now, it may have been used, or maybe it's just settling, and the bottle is definitely discolored, as you can see, and it's kind of like smushed in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, but I should get $20 for this, so not bad for a dollar, not bad for a dollar. All right, so now we'll get into the shoes here. So these were, ooh, Lucky Brand. These actually I paid $6.54 after the discount. It's kind of like a wedge heel sandal. They're in good condition. They have the price on the bottom though, and that it's like a fabric type thing. So I don't know how I'm going to get that off. I might have to try. I don't want to ruin the the bottoms too much but we'll see i'm gonna probably try um like magic eraser first and see if that does the trick but yeah so got those 
grab this pair of Skechers air-cooled memory foam. These ended up being $2.50. I do well with Skechers, so I picked them up. It's, you know, it's a comfort brand that tons of people wear. So yeah, these are in good condition. Very, very gently used. Now their shoes, sometimes they ruin them, okay? Like for instance, these are a pair of Fit Flop boots which are in super good condition, super, super good condition. They put the tag, you see the little tiny hole? They put the tag right through there, but for 350, I still pick these up. I will disclose that in the listing. I mean, they're just like in really good condition aside from that little hole thing, but it's on the inside. I, I usually, you know, when I disclose it, usually people don't care. No one is going to get up to them and be like, Excuse me, could you lift up your leg <laughs> so I can see the inside ankle area of your shoe? Like that just doesn't happen. So <laughs> anyhow, these are these are good. These are a good shoe. There are seven and a half. You know, you guys like me to tell you the shoe sizes, and thus far, I have forgotten to do so. Um, I don't even know where I'm putting these shoes. Okay, Skechers. The Skechers are an eight and the Lucky Brand, hmm, what size are you? Oh, these are also an eight. Okay. So then I, I picked these up. These are Quechua, definitely, probably not saying that right. Uh, these I paid $4.50 for. They're kind of like, um, they look like a hiking kind of shoe. I've never heard of this brand, so I decided to pick them up. I think there's only like three pair listed and none sold. So I don't really know, but they're the Decathlon and they are a size eight. I wonder if the same person donated all of these shoes. So anyway, they're in nice shape and everything. So I will probably still list these, you know, for like $25 in good condition. These I paid up for a little bit. I paid $12.50 for these, but I know I can sell them for a good amount. Again, they are Skechers. They're brand new. And now while Skechers is not like a high end, you know, shoe, they still sell for like 50, 60, $70 in the store and you know, people will pay $35, $40 for a brand new pair because it's still a discount. So these are brand new with tags, no box, really nice color. And uh, yeah, these are a seven and a half. Okay, then I picked up this pair of Vans Ultra Kush. This is a nice kind of fabric because when they do stick that little um, barb through there, you can't tell once it's removed. So these, these actually look smaller. Oh no, they're a size seven and a half. These look really small, but so a pair of Vans, not the typical Vans style, more of like a comfort kind of shoe. And another pair of Skechers. These are another air-cooled memory foam pair. Uh, kind of a cool style. They do have more wear on the bottom and a couple little marks on the upper, but nothing crazy. These ended up being $350. And I really like the color of these. These are a size 8. And then I picked these up. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have. They don't look like the best style in the world, but these are, and they do have some surface marks because they're a light color, but these are a pair of J. Jill, <laughs> almost couldn't say that, J. Jill, J. Jill heels, and they look like this, but they ended up being $2 after the discount. The bottoms look pretty good, like gently used. So that's not bad. 
All right, then I picked up a pair of Lucky Brand, kind of a plaid. These are a size seven medium. They ended up being 350, just like a ballet flat. And then I got a pair of Circus by Sam Edelman. These are like a pair of studded black mules. I thought those looked pretty cool, pretty fancy. So these are size eight gently I and mean, gently used really good condition and then i grabbed these men's how much was it these were 450 nike zoom evidence too i have to look this style up but i felt like they were in pretty good shape and i should be able to at least get 25 dollars or more depending on i have to look the style up but really good condition for four dollars and fifty cents I think that is it now. That's it for the shoes. Okay, so for clothing, I still have some clothing in my death pile, so I haven't been buying a ton of clothing, but I have been working on that death pile and things are getting smaller, so I'm super happy about that. But anyway, I did pick up a little bit of clothing. The hard goods were really, really not good this, this uh, sale day, so. Anyway, I grabbed this little, little kids or toddlers Phillies set. And I don't buy a whole lot of kids, but I'll tell you, when I do pick up like the sports themed apparel for children, it seems to sell pretty quick and for a good price. So this ended up being $3.50 for the set. I'm trying to see what size it is. Three to six months. So this is like... This is for your baby Phillies fan. The baby that doesn't even know they're a Phillies fan yet, but their parent is forcing it upon them. So cute, right? Look at that. So freaking cute. So anyhow, moving on, uh, this Joe Fit. Grab this Joe Fit two-piece set. So it's like a squirt. Make sure that make sure that area is clean I should do that in the store I should have checked the crotch but it is it is whitey white it is minty clean minty clean <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anyway it was 450 for the set it's like I guess a probably like a tennis or golf set should do all right this right here I thought was really nice it is super soft. It almost feels like real fur, but it is not. It is faux fur. It's like a jacket. I love like the pattern of it, but I couldn't tell. And I paid up for this piece because um, I've sold some faux fur for a really good amount of money. So I couldn't tell the brand of this because the tag was like right. It was stapled right on it. And I couldn't remove the tag or I wouldn't be able to buy it. So I just bought it, took a gamble. Well, took the tag off. I can't tell the maker of it. And I tried to search by some of the surrounding words. And maybe if I delve a little bit deeper into Google, I'll be able to find it. But as of now, I, I haven't. But anyway, I'm also like, I'm thinking maybe... It might have a faint smoke smell. I can't really tell if that's like the smell of the fabric. You know, every now and then you get like a tricky piece that you can't quite tell if it's smoke or something else. And that's that's what's going on with this one. Um, it's nothing like real offensive, so I don't know. And another thing, it's marked a size large, but it's definitely more of a medium. Anyway, let me show you guys the label. Do any of you know what the heck that is? If you do, drop it in the comments below and let me know. Okay, next is a LuLaRoe Classic Tea. It ended up being $1.50. So I grabbed it because it is new with tags and it's a solid color. So a lot of people do still buy the solid colors 
if this was like a patterned classic tee, I probably would have passed it unless unless it was like Disney or something like that. But $1.50 for a solid, not bad. And what is this? It's a, I think it's a medium. It is. All right, so then I picked this piece up and I just realized it's got a little spot on it that I didn't see, but it ended up being 99 cents. It is an extra small, I believe, by the looks of it. It is, it's an extra, this thing is so tiny. It's an extra small. I'm gonna have to throw it in the wash, try to get that little tiny spot out of it. It's like right there, but it's mountain hardware. A lot of people do well with mountain hardware. It's got a hood. But I'll tell you, every time, I think maybe I've only found it one other time and it took a super long time to sell and it didn't really sell for that much, but I figured for 99 cents, I'll give it a shot again. Although now I have to see if I can get that spot out. All right, I'm back. I got cut off there for a second. I had a phone call coming in. Okay, so next piece is this, I guess it's like a tankini top and it is Slim Shaper. It's got UPF 50 sun protection and it's new with tag it's a size 18 and it was two dollars and 50 cents so i decided to scoop that up now um i've sold single tops before with no problem especially when they have like you know a slimming quality or whatever and plus size usually does pretty well so i figured without the bottom i would still grab that because you know a lot of people buy their swimsuits separately anyway you know so they might have a bottom at home and just need a top or they might even lose it i mean i've lost swimwear <laughs> believe it or not so yeah grab that then i picked up these adidas uh just kind of like workout pants size sm wait what size are these oh yeah they're small and i don't know they have like the mesh the mesh detail to the back of leg and they ended up being $1.99, so I didn't think that was too bad. So this is a lot of bread and butter stuff, guys. Like this is nothing like super crazy, but it will all add up. So I grabbed these Agnes and Dora. These are knit jeggings, gray knit jeggings, size large. These seem to sell okay when they're new with tags. I should be able to get about $25 for these and they are new with tag and I paid $2.50 for them. This I thought was pretty cool. This is like a off shoulder, one shoulder dress. It's got like a vintage kind of quality to it. It's um, New York. So I'm guessing this is like, like the Knicks. And it's, uh, it's made by Baby Score Basketball Classic. So that's the back. Size large. I paid $1.50 for this. And I just think that that's kind of cool. I can see someone totally rocking this at a basketball game. So how to pick that up. All right, this one here, this one I have questions about. So this is Norma Kamali which I looked this brand up. I've never, I've never actually had this brand before, but I, I briefly looked it up in store and it looks like her pieces sell for a really good amount of money. Now the problem is, I don't know if this is an original piece or if someone kind of added all this stuff to it. So here's the deal. This is the vest. This vest has so much going on. Another thing is, I don't know the size unless there's a tag on the inside. Yes, it's a small. Okay, well, that's good. Let me zip it up here so I can show you guys. You know, ever notice sometimes it's hard to zip something unless you're wearing it? Or is that just me? Okay, so here we have the vest. So it's got this cool animal print collar. And on the bottom, it says Buzz Herd over here. This one says Jefferson Airplane Loves You. It wraps around to the back. And then it's got this um, 
paw bearer. Like some curled up mouse. <laughs> what is this thing? What is this? I don't even know. But it's weird. And I love weird, so it went in my cart. So I paid a dollar fifty for this. And I need to figure out if someone sewed this on themselves. I just like really have no idea. I kind of I kind of think they did. I kind of think someone like bling this out. Not really bling, but I don't know. It does kind of I'm trying to like look at the stitching. I mean, this is just all over the place. And this might have even been a jacket at some point. I don't know if you guys know anything about this. Again, drop it in the comments. I don't know. And now, you know what? I've heard of Jefferson Airplane. Buzz heard. I have not heard of that. And Paul Bearer. Is that like a band? I mean, it could be. I don't really know. We'll see. All right. Next, I picked up this dolled up vest. I was in the vest section, as you can clearly tell. Sometimes I try to go into sections that I feel like might be more overlooked and just see if I can find anything cool. All right. I don't even know how to zip. I don't know what's going on with this thing. So this is, oh, okay. I guess it, it's not supposed to be zipped all the way up, I don't think. So anyway, this is also a size small, probably came from the same person. And it was $2.50. It's distressed. Got that studded kind of rocker look. And I just thought it was kind of cool. So I grabbed it. So yeah, I don't think it's meant to, if it zips all the way up, then you lose that, you lose that collar right there. Alrighty. And then this is Royal Bones. It's still new with tag, although it only retails for about $40. They do appear to be selling the same jacket sold for, or sweatshirt, I guess I should say, the same one sold for $28. And I don't even remember, that one might not have even been new. So anyway, I did pay a little more for this. I paid $5.50 after the discount. It reminded me of like Trip NYC. It's got like the lace detail down each side, very like punk kind of gothic looking or whatever, which is still a thing because I've seen people wear it. And anytime I find like Trip NYC stuff, it usually sells pretty well. Okay, so this is a size medium. Oh, it was sold at Hot Topic. Hmm. All righty. All right, then I picked these up. I have not investigated this brand. I don't think I've ever sold this brand, but um, they were also new with tags and it's the brand, I'm trying to button them here. It's the brand Level 99. And these look like they might be kind of like a cropped, a cropped leg. They're really soft. And they were, Okay, they're the Francis straight leg pant. They were sold by Stitch Fix. And they are a size 28. So they were $3.50. So I'll see how see how I do with those. Alrighty, and then I grabbed a pair of So Slimming Chico's Brown, size 2.5, which I believe is. I want to say that's like a conventional size 14 uh, because, you know, they do that vanity, vanity sizing. But I do well with the Chico's So Slimming, um, especially if they're size 2.5 and up and like the ones that are short do really well. Uh, but anyway, these are gently used and they are the, the So Slimming. So I think they'll do well. How much should I pay for these? $2. So that's not bad. All right. And then the final 
the final thing I bought is this zero exposure women's jacket. It's a size small. It is in beautiful condition and it was $4.50. So I just feel like you can't go wrong with that. Especially now, like stores are going to be transitioning over to their summer stuff and uh, yeah, already, but they are and jackets are going to be hard to find. And then, you know, when people do need them, they start looking online. I remember a couple of years ago, I needed to get a last minute ski jacket for my daughter because we didn't realize that she grew out of the one from the year before. And I went into Kohl's and they had like hardly anything left, nothing in her size. So I had to go, I don't know, I went online somewhere and, you know, spent like a hundred dollars for this jacket. But yeah, so it, they get, they become very hard to find in stores. And anyway, this is, this is a beautiful jacket. Black, it's got like that side buckle detail. It is, it is lined. And this actually could pop out and you can wear it as just like a thin jacket if you would want to, instead of wearing both layers. Um, these are nice jackets, they really are. I like the Zero Exposure brand. So yeah, this is just, like I said, perfect condition and such a good price. So I should do well. This should sell for at least $40. So, oh, wait, wait. One more hard good. I should have known I was going to miss something. So this puzzle, how much should I pay for this? Should be on here somewhere. I paid $2 for it. Sweet Christmas, a thousand piece a thousand piece puzzle and it's got all of these Christmas cookies and Christmas desserts on it. So I think that'll do well. That's, that's gonna be fun for someone to put together. So that is gonna wrap up my half off day haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And yeah, if you have, please give this video a thumbs up, comment if you guys know anything about the questionable items that I found. And <laughs> if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.